All right, it is time for another episode of My Draft Tutor. Uh, today's special guest is Jeffy Tastic. Jeffy, how are you doing today? I'm, I'm swell. How about yourself? You know, um, I actually slept in today. And then Ooh, uh, jealous, <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I, I slept in today, which meant um, I had to work later, but um, I kind of just watch Twitch and play uh, magic on my phone all day at work. So it's easy to get sucked <laughs> into that. Like I have you can see I have like my work computer over there, mm -hmm. but then like I'm on my regular desktop that I stream from. So it's like very dangerous. I'm like, oh, on this meeting, I could just swivel over. I'm like, oh, damn it. Everyone's on. Everyone's on watching right now or there's, you know, channels to watch. So uh, <laughs> I, I have to be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, um, so you do stream now. Where can people find you? And then uh, when do you stream? Yeah, so you can find me at twitch.tv slash jeffytastic. Come join the big old queer family. Uh, I started back in January, January 9th of just this year. Um, and I'm really, really cultivating uh, a community where there's a very personal touch with it. I know a lot of streamers may say that it may be super cliche, but if you come by the stream, we're really, everyone welcomes every new person that comes to the chat. I have amazing moderators. Nice. Um, we have our, we have our rave breaks. We, we do some dancing, we get some moving. Um, and uh, I'll pull you a tarot card if you're interested in uh, a little woo woo. Ooh. I'll pull you a tarot card for every new follower. Um, but I basically stream, I'm trying to do two to three times a week. It's usually looking like two times a week, um, typically a Tuesday or a Wednesday. So if I'm going to do the sweatsuit invitational or mm -hmm. if I'll play in your book club, I'll typically stream one of those days. And then if I'm feeling frisky, I'll do uh, a weekend day, just climbing the ladder, typically some drafts. Mm -hmm. Um, I made it to mythic this season. So now I'm just kind of relaxed and doing more like trying some other formats. So for nice. those that are just limited players. I'm definitely, that's my primary mode of streaming, but um, I'm also catering to some of my other friends that I've now watched the stream that say, hey, Jeff, why don't you pick up some alchemy or do some standard? I'm like, oh God, don't make me. <laughs> but uh, I'll do a little bit of that. So typically twice a week and then I'll be hosting my tournament, um, uh, usually regularly on Sunday. So maybe that will be my, my day. So oh, you can find okay. me twice a week, usually like 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern time. Well, um, so is, is your, is your draft tournament now? I know a lot of them are streamer only kind of thing. Is it a uh, streamer only, or is it like anyone? Yeah, this is definitely everyone. I wanted to make a space. So not saying like the streamer tournaments are elitist cause they're definitely not, but I wanted to make a space for people who wanted to come from, you know, they watch people lurking on Twitch, you know, they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're lurking in streams and they, they need the little push to come take their magic playing to a community. Mm. And so um, I play locally at my game store here in Columbus, Ohio. And oh. I met a lot of friends there that, you know, play on arena, but they come play draft in person. I said, well, hey, I stream. Why don't you come, you know, join in my group? So I'm really trying to be an advocate for those. Um, definitely queer centric folks or people of color to come play that may have not traditionally had a magic space mm -hmm. um, that they can have. Um, but also anyone, anyone's free to join regardless of skill level. I kind of want to have the pool be filled with everyone of all levels so they can get exposed, right? So I have some streamers that are probably a little bit more advanced sometimes. And then some folks who have never done a tournament, mm. um, but have played at their local game store. So that's my, that's my vision for it is really just, it's, I mean, it's called Jeffy Tastic's Extravaganza. So, like, <laughs> I mean, I wanna, I want the competitive feel, but mm -hmm. I also want a place where you don't feel so much pressure signing up, and there's not so many hoops for you to jump through. I want you to just join, have fun, bring a positive attitude, crack some jokes, and really support everyone on the stream. I noticed in some of the other tournaments, like, it's like, ooh, send me a direct challenge, and then I never talk to you again, right? Yeah. I really wanted people where it's like, no, this is personal. Like, if you're coming to the Jeffy Tastic family, we we follow our other streams. We pop in and say hello. We really support that. So, so far, so good. We'll see how that goes. Nice, nice. And what time does that start? That is going to be our first one, our first extravaganza. There's no limit on how many people can join. We have prizes for top eight uh, mm -hmm. from uh, Maturino, but... 
maybe we'll get more if we get more folks. This is going to be April 3rd at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're interested in joining, I'll probably have, you know, Sunday, there's a lot of them during the week, but Sunday night seemed to be a time where folks like may want to do something fun before the work week or um, maybe just had an itch for some magic, uh, you know, Sunday afternoon. So we'll start there, but, you know, those times could change based on people's availability and, and the format, so. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Well, I'll definitely be checking it out. But Ooh. now we've got to check out this premiere draft of right, Neon Dynasty. Here we go. Oh. All right, we're the only one in the queue. We're only one. We're going to draft with the bots in Premiere queue. I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> So, um, yeah, putting on tournaments is, is really fun, obviously. Oh, my God. I, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> you, know, um, you know, we've been using Maturino for a few, like, a month or two now. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful website. Let me make this a little bit Oh, better. my gosh. They, it's ma they've made it so easy, and the prizes that they put on, that's, that's, that's amazing, you know, just, just for playing. Oh God, this pack. Wow. Yeah. Well, good old light pause here. Um, hmm. So I'm a fan of a roaring earth. I don't think anyone else is. You're gonna get you're gonna get the Jeffy Tastic going to Mythic Route, which <laughs> I try to fight away from the meta a lot of the times. Uh -huh. Um, only because there's a lot of like really three color crazy decks. So I really try to keep it consistent. There's the boar, the iron hoof boar, which is also up for consideration. Mm -hmm. um, Network terminal, which I, it's good, but I, eh. um, I actually would probably have a, uh, a between roaring earth and the boar. Yeah. Ooh, um, let's let's go for the boar. The boar. Let's take the boar. Big um, pig. The big pig. I like a good top end. If I play, is it? Or I play red with anything. I think the boar is just good on a top end in any deck. It doesn't keep you in. Um, oh, there's the long reach around. I there's Narika. There's Hot Shot Mechanic. Don't laugh at Hot Shot Mechanic. I He's don't. I, his best. I'm a one. I'm a one drop fanatic. You don't see me <laughs> hating on cards. I play some pretty crazy cards, but I know like when I play in the draft tournaments, I've been creeping on everyone's stream and I know their style. Mm. So I've been really trying to dig in. Well, clearly that didn't happen Wednesday, but um, <laughs> typically I've been able to do decently because I can, I know what they're going to go for. I would take the long reach of the night here. Um, pretty much no question, no competition in this pack. There is like network terminal, dual land, you have community spirits, but like I think the long reach of the night when you get multiple copies mm -hmm. is great. And I also think uh, red, black is fine. Even if we have to go blue, I think it would be an easy pick for me to take long reach here. The long reach around of the night. Long reach around. <laughs> what if Isaiah was like, what if I just want to go to bed? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, it kills me. All right. So yeah, that would be the pick there. Um, let's see what we got. So... I know everyone's like, ooh, you see Prodigy's prototype. Like, there it is. Um, again, good vehicle. Do I like playing vehicle decks? I think I'm kind of burned out of those. I've had enough vehicle mm. fun. There is the mechanic. Um, I do think that some of the other colors, regardless, are, are deep enough that you can do fine with commons. Again, this is a, re a format where you don't always need crazy amount of removal, depending on the decks you go mm -hmm. with. I know you played a really sick Is It deck the last time that had very tempo heavy. Um, and I think that is effective in this format. Um, this pack sucks, but I also think like there's Terrarium, which may be good to see if we stumble into anything. God, there's no red in this pack. I don't think that's a signal that red is not open. I just literally don't think we had any other any major players. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's take the Terrarium here. Okay. Yeah, Terrarium. terrarium. You know, there's befriending the moths argument, but like, eh. A lot of people hate on befriending the moths. Uh, I hate on it too, but it, oh yeah, we're gonna take a. This is a snap pick, Life of Tashiro, uh, Saga. There, other things. Jukai Preserver is not a joke, folks. Also, the if you go, I like Gruel in this format. I don't mm. think anyone else does. If you play Jukai Preservers and Jukai Trainees, you put a counter on a trainee. That's a three-three, basically a four-four pseudo four-four right away. So. Um, 
definitely take uh, our life of uh, chorizo here. Life of chorizo. <laughs> chorizo. I mean, I sometimes you, that's just how it is. <laughs> I mean, that's. I had tacos yesterday with chorizo tacos, so I was Ooh. picking this card. I was like, all right. So yeah, other stuff here. Reality heist, Matt Claw and Torment is not a joke either. Um, Dockside Chef, I'm sick of that card. It can do work in the right format if you get like you know you have a white shrine like black white. I think mm-hmm. is where Dockside Chef does well. So definitely taking the Toshiro here. I mean, I'm down with it. Um, <sighs> ooh, got some things here. Again, the boar is I'm not attached to that by any means. Mm-hmm. We have the Nizumi Prowler, so um, also the modern age. I also think that five five Walker is a good time um i think it just you know people don't expect that five damage Mm -hmm. really can turn the tide of a game the prowler is fine i'm doing ninja stuff here i actually might take the modern age here okay um only because I, i think it's a good card if i go uh black blue and I'm not attached to any red. The Dragon Spark Reactor, I don't really care about that. It can be good if I like got a rabbit battery or something really big off the bat, mm-hmm. something that would pull me that direction. But um, it's very close here. I could take the Prowler, but it's a 3-1. So in the grand scheme, I would take the Modern Age, hopefully to get some other power level. All right. There's another Modern Age. I don't typically like to run... A million modern ages i think you can really get screwed if you have to start pitching things and making tough decisions on turn two if you don't have another play um i think that's the only downside with the card um i think for me i would take the crab um i love the crab on the top end again it's a counter spell it's a playable when you get it um i don't have any issue i think it's just Counter spells are very effective in this format because no one plays them. Mm-hmm. Like I got my I got my Imperial Oath uh, spell pierced yesterday in the Ooh. book club, and then I got Kami Ward after that. So I definitely uh, I would go with the crab here. Close pick to take the Modern Age. It could be I, I think more people would inch towards the Modern Age here, but I uh, I like the crab. Mister Micah <sighs> in chat says, "What about That's... the land?" I think it was. That's true. Um, I'm more in this format. I don't know. My, I, uh, the land, the lands are very good. It, this is like when I would start taking lands. It's mm. pack one. I'm not too concerned. Yeah. Um, there's faded antiquity, some removal. We do have some good blue there. Um, there's the. Uh, is that the? I can't see that. Nazumi blade, but that's not the. That's not the ninjutsu one. Um, I got to pick here. Let's just take. Um, Let's take the fade into antiquity here. If we somehow drift into, um, you know, black blue or black green is fine. Um, the boar could have been an argument as well, but I'm like, oh, all right. Well, there's the, there's some more red now. Um, I actually think I want to take the suit up here. I I'm not really seeing anything in red that's calling my name, and suit up is always just reliable card draw. Um, so I'm probably going to take the suit up here. Samurai can be a good time. There's the web spinner cuff. I see the web spinner cuff really pop off. Um, if you, if you are really hard into green, mm-hmm. um, I know a lot of people aren't big on picking that. Comedy flare is a good argument, right? Some people are like, I'll take the comedy flare. I'm going to take the suit up here. I think, um, it's really putting out good numbers on 17 lands and it, it's, it's, it's doing work. Um, all right. It's the same eh. artifact. Jam. Yeah, the yeah. same one, not the not the Ninjutsu Lifelinker one we like. So this pack, I mean, I actually may take the uh, take the Essence Capture here. It's an uncommon counter spell. Um, it's it's can put a counter on things, and also <laughs> it's it's unconditional, right? So um, that can do work if we're trying to do a little bit more controlling with our sagas. So I don't know what kind of creatures we're really pulling here, but we take this Essence Capture. All right. Well, white is coming around here. I mean, not saying a hotspot mechanic is a is a signal on pick ten. Um, I, I would take the puzzle maker here. Looks like puzzle maker can be reliable for some draws. Um, we do have some good sagas going on here. Uh, so a little bit of hodgepodge of everything. So I'd probably play the uh, take the puzzle maker. Um, I know pursuit kind of a fringe playable, but like if I'm playing best of three, I would consider that. Mm. Um, yeah, we might as well take the arm guard familiar here. Again, not my favorite two drop of all. Um, oh, it's really? playable. Uh, <laughs> it's playable. 
the ward can really impact if you're it's like this is a good sideboard to drop if you're facing a deck with like life of tashiro's because they can't use that on turn two to kill this because of the ward cost mm. so it does have um hmm yeah let's take a on the net, let's take a clawing torment here hopefully we'll get some ninja stuff in the next pack um Seems like we may be going that direction. And let's pull out that boar and fade into antiquity. We can put that into the sideboard just so we can unclog and see what we're up against here. Uh, and let's take the Thundersteel Colossus. Not going to play it probably, but just put it right that. in the sideboard. Right for the sake. Uh, yeah, let's take that spell pierce, put that right in the side. You never know. You know I mean, I'm uh, <laughs> no, probably I... not going to play it, but. All right. Let's see what else. There's yeah. our Eater of Virtue. We got some good stuff in here. We have Twisted Embrace. We have our Moon Circuit Hacker now. I think in this format, I mean, Eater, we're probably going to take Eater here. Um, you, you know, does Eater work on the ward? On ward? Does that count? No, nah, it's First Drag, Death Touch, blah, blah, blah. Um, definitely going to probably take the Eater here, but I'm taking a look. Like, Twisted Embrace, Argument, Moon Circuit Hacker, like, definitely what we're doing. I actually have very little experience with Eater of Virtue, so this could be an absolute disaster, but we're going to take it. It could be good with some of our flyers, right? If we take our put our puzzle makers out there, yeah. kind of kind of do some tempo. We'll take the Eater. Got some mana. Um, pretty cheap to equip. Yeah. No. Um, eater of Virtue, I wouldn't say is like the best with our if we're doing ninjutsu because it could unequip, right? They may not block something big and then you're like unequipping it. Mm. Um, but I mean, we're going to YOLO here, see what's happening. Take the Eater of Virtue here. Ooh, there's Sky Turtle, which is a good time. There's Containment Construct, which we're probably going to inch towards here, only because we have the Modern Age. We may scoop up another Modern Age here. That's going to be really key for having a creature on the board while also Modern Aging. So I'm thinking we're going to take Containment Construct here. Now, the Turtle, you know, Turtle, even just playing the Turtle for the uh, channel ability, like, mm. completely valid in some of the previous formats. I loved, like... Those, any, any, I'm a bounce spell. I love bounce spells. I think tempo is the way to go in a lot of best of one matches. Mm, um, if you're playing true. best of three, you can get around to that. But like best of one, you're going in, you're slamming and jamming, baby. So um, turtle is a close one. We're gonna take containment construct here. We do have a mirror shell crab that we can discard. We have our uh, modern age. So um, you know, there's an ex there's a synthesizer here, which I know people are obsessed with. Another clog torment, but. Containment Construct's the way to go here. All right, so now green is doing things here. Um, Master's Rebuke is so damn good. Um, mm. I feel like... The I drafted two I yesterday, uh, and I was... I was... Is it... I was Grixis Artifacts. <laughs> I drafted two because I was like, I don't want this in anyone's deck. They are so... Exactly. They are so good. Like, Master's Rebuke, I think... And, like, you get the Fang of Shigeki, like... By far, some of the best removal and in, in, through. But I think Kami of Terrible Secrets, we do have some artifacts and we have enchantments. Like, I think it just makes sense to take the Kami here. Um, spinning Wheel Kick wears me out. Obviously, it's a blowout when it's good. Like, definitely a good thing. Um, you know, I love the Hot Spring. No one else does. I think if you're really in the format, it's, it's, a, good, it's a, a good one if you're doing tempo. Kami is just solid here. Um, still haven't seen like any removal really besides pack one, which is kind of making me a little bit nervous. But um, I think we have some other tempo things like Clawing Torment and Life of Tashiro that like we don't need it always. Mm -hmm. um, God, Mobilizer Mech, Disruption Protocol. Yeah, there's the Iron Apprentice here, which um, I don't know how many. I also like Return to Action. I don't think we have enough creatures yet that I care about that. We're at uh, a total of five um, creatures. Yeah, we're going to take the Iron Apprentice here, get some turn ones out there. Uh, um, plus two, you know. But, mm -hmm. oh no, plus three. We got the Life, we got the Reach Around, and we have the Modern Age. So. Yeah, actually, yeah. You know, yeah, Return to Action usually wheels. No one likes that card. Um, okay, so green... Yeah, we're probably going to take the completion here. Um, I do like malicious malfunction. Again, I I try, I make it to Mythic on the back of my own antics, and I try to go anti-meta. Oh. Like, I really go anti-meta a lot of the time because 
Malicious Malfunction is for all of those mono red decks. Again, it's for, for best of three. You get a Malicious Malfunction in there, you can really wipe them out. Um, we need a Completion. Completion gets rid of basically everything. Um, absolutely would take the Completion here. Season of Renewal is good. Looks like green is like more open. This is a pick five season or spinning wheel kick. So like, you know, green looks like it's doing things. Um, I'm really looking for like network disruptors or some other ninjas. We really didn't get any of that, but I don't like feel like it's super contested. Mm -hmm. um, let's take the, the shadow walker here. There's an argument to take another Kami, but we can really like ninjutsu back our life of Toshiro or like, you never know when we really need to bounce one of those sagas. Mm -hmm. um, this is just a solid ender with eater of virtue on our, on our stuff. So I would take uh, the shadow walker here. The, the, the guy's the, Oh, is it Do? Oh, I don't know. I know that Dolce, Dolce is like. Dolce is sweet. Is yeah, sweet. Sweet. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I guess I'm looking at. You know, this this would be a pack that I would look for a dual land, right? Like, mm -hmm. definitely about around pick six or seven would look for a dual land. I don't really want to take the kunai. We have enough one drops. Let's take the centipede here. Um. Well, what about the Uncharted Haven? It could be any color. It's yeah. Of, eh. It's like a very bad dual land. Yeah, no, it's actually good. That could have been a good argument to take that. I'm like, again, I don't see anything that's making me want to splash right now. Like, mm. and I want to get my pick to get my creatures in. Like, I know a lot of people, we already have our, our terrarium as well. Mm -hmm. um, <sighs> Janefield. Let's take the Sky Swimmer. Let's get some flyer here. We may be able to like, reach around, put the Eater of Virtue on it. We want to get some flyers to get value off of our uh, Virtue. Mm -hmm. So if our creatures get removed, we get some effects. So we're really on the lookout for things that do more than being vanilla. Um, now, ugh, this is, this is, let's just take the, uh, the Guardians and put that in the sideboard. Um, I, the card is good in very modified uh, decks. Let's take Clong Torment here again. I mean, Double Clawing Torment is not a joke either. Um, <laughs> honestly, it's kind of like pseudo removal. Um, really not putting a lot of pressure on them right now, but we're going to hope we get like, we're gonna just going to pull a beautiful big dragon um, yeah. in this next pack. Easy. We're gonna, it's going to be great. Easy, easy, easy pick. Um, you could take the uh, Brute Suit here and put it in the uh, sideboard. To the so, like, sideboard have... with you. We have cards that do things, but like, I haven't like felt like I've missed out on anything. Um, let's take the, you know, I don't care what you take here. Just put something on the sideboard. Yeah. Um, yeah, Kaido's Pursuit in the sideboard. The so green has been like oddly like open, but it, it's like, I think his green can be really deep in this format. Mm -hmm. I don't really see anything like. I really don't feel like I've missed out on anything in these packs. Like, I don't feel like, oh, darn. All right, now we're talking about the second reach around of the night, which is actually when I think they become effective. I think one reach around, you can really... Um, ooh, there's also an argument for a Moonsnare Specialist. How many creatures are we at? Nine plus... Okay. Yeah, we'll be okay. Like... Our curve is 2.8. I think we're doing fine here. A few more. Um, and that thing comes back. That has Menace, right? It's got menace, yeah. Yeah, so it's helping our virtue. Obviously, argument to splash Imperial Oath if that's your fancy. Um, I, I definitely gonna. I would take the long reach of the night. Two of them. I mean, we have some powerful sagas here. We have two long reaches, Life of Toshiro. Mm -hmm. um, so, like in our modern age, to cycle through. So, I'm feeling pretty good about a second one of those. It can. I mean, two of those is 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 wild, especially close to back to back here. Oh my god, we might just be playing Sagas, baby. Um, mm, Leech yeah. Gauntlet, it's a tough one between Okiba here and Leech Gauntlet. Um, I think we're taking Okiba. There's also Lethal Exploit here, but I, I think we're going to take Okiba. It has the highest, it's like, it's the highest win rate common. We're it's taking so Okiba good. here. It's so good. It also has Menace, right? That thing pops out. You get your play turn one, turn two, Eater, you know, have that ready to go, like, we're going to take Okiba here. Um, we're getting some really powerful value sagas here, which I'm excited about. Um, you know, Leech Gauntlet could have been a pick here. March of Swirling Mist can be good for big board states, but eh. 
Um, I've seen it pop off a few times where you just like phase out the blockers you don't want to be a part. Well, take the behold the unspeakable. What? But there's a, right. there's a dual land. Oh my god, <laughs> not the dual land. Well, no, take the dual no. Okay, so we are now in the state where we have some really good stuff here. We are behold the unspeakable. We have two long reach of the nights. So we need to make sure our creatures, anything that we get can be bodies or that we can survive tempo. Mm -hmm. um, obviously argument for like ambusher here, but like I'm, I'm very excited with where we're going with this draft. This is not a ninja draft. We're just playing black, blue sagas. Yeah. Like how many sagas? One, two, three, four, five sagas. Wait, we have six. Wait, yeah, one, two, three, I mean, four, five, six. We have six sagas. So um, shoot. All right, there's a network disruptor. Hmm. Is this the deck for the network disruptor? I don't. Th I think there's always a deck for the network disruptor. Um, and that has flying. You put the eater of virtue on it. Take that network disruptor. Yeah, I, Other... I think like we probably will might end up even cutting our containment. Yeah. Um, I, don't really I would cut probably much. the terrarium right now. I don't think we're playing three colors. Um, yeah, that, that network disruptor. I play if I if I pick four network disruptors, I'd play every single one of them. They are oh, just yeah. so good in this format. Um, obviously, facing green, uh, those bamboo archers is is the end of that. And yeah, let's take another network disruptor here. Close argument for another clawing torment. Um, We've got two. Yeah, take two of those. We may not play. You know, we may, I don't think we're gonna play another one of those. But like. You start off. We have some pretty good turn ones here. Let's see. We got. Um, let's take the Cyber Trespassers and put it in our sideboard. Now, I love this card. Uh, this thing has won me. Hmm. This this is how I did. I went like I went in uh, a Papa Taco's lead, the Night Strix lead. That card was the ticket. Oh. All right. Let's take the Moon Snare Specialist. Beautiful card to to pop out with your network disruptors. Okay. So we're cooking now. We are really. Yep, let's take the silencer here. Um, we are really, we're really doing the thing now. Um, yeah, this is again a pack I would look for a land, no dual land. I apologize, but we're gonna uh, take the. Let's just hate draft that uh, that boar. Just take that big boar. pig. Um, let's take the lethal exploit. Pick ten. <laughs> Um, which, you know, I think people give that card a lot of hate. Yeah, let's take, re let's take a return to action, put that in the sideboard. All right. So I'm, I'm, you know, here I am satisfied. Like we got turn one plays, we have big sagas, we have, you know, we have, an, I feel like we have a chance. Um, You're saying we don't have any like years. big crazy bombs, but like. You just have to make sure we're putting enough pressure with creatures out there and we're not going too tempo-y because like we got to make sure with our advantage that we should get with some of our sagas and some of our our stuff that we can actually close out a game um yeah, just take that yeah anything i think i'm i think we got enough to to work with something here we are i think yeah we're in a good spot I feel great. I feel great with this deck. We have enough stuff that like actually works with the Eater of Virtue. Now, I'm not really familiar with that card. I don't know how how good it is. I mean, we have flyers and menacing things, so like. I mean, it's definitely something to worth noting, where we have we have flying. Yep. Got menace, and we got flying. Got flying. Honestly, and flying is good enough. Let's be honest. A flyer that can just come out there with the two, with the um, how many creatures do we have now? I know we have six sagas. Thirteen. So, okay. Oh, two point eight curve. Excellent. This is this is so far so good. We're pretty even on land. Let's go back and make some cuts here. So, um, I maybe would cut an Iron Apprentice. Um, and. I really hate the centipede, but I don't want to go down anymore here. We got the Moonsnare Specialist. Um, yeah, this deck looks great. 
Do I need two clawing torments is my question. Or do I, I guess, need the arm? What about the containment construct? We need... It's true. Um, there's no... Let's look at how many creatures. We have any creatures. We have 12 plus the 6 now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's... Um, I, I don't just... really like going too low on creatures. Modern Age. Yeah, let's cut the... Well, I'm trying to think. Like, it's basically, you know, arm guard, familiar, containment construct are weak. We may there may be an argument to not play two clawing torments. Um, oh, uh, if we get in a pickle, arm guard can help out our it, lethal. Attached. Um. Ah. But yeah, I, uh, I, I can definitely see that. I just think that we'll we're never like this is a really bad blocker. Yeah, let's pitch it. Let's get it out of there. Let's let's pull it out of there. Um, and then. What's our mana curve now? We're probably at 2.9 if I did. Oh, look 2. at me. I even know 9. that I can just. I, so typically my draft decks, I, I don't want, I like to play anywhere from, you know, 2.7 to 3.1. Um, hmm. I look at the every deck I make because depending on the format, um, I, it helps me kind of gauge like, am I mid-rangey really? Or am I just delirious and think that I am? Hmm. Um, and I, I, if you haven't, if you're building your draft decks and you're not looking at your average mana value, if your creature count, I would start doing it. It really, and, and start, you know, doing your drafts and seeing, okay, what kind of decks am I good at more conservatively playing? Maybe I need a higher curve. Um, best of one, you're probably going to get your lands a little bit so you can do that. Best of three, if you're playing like a 3.3 and above, God help you. Hmm. Um, it's not Let's really something I've ever checked out. You haven't? Yeah, I've jump never... back into that stats real quick. I, I'll show you. I like... check out. I check out stats, but I I've yeah. never really checked out the. Uh, oh, that's like average. My key, my key thing is that because that's basically saying to me, okay, like if I'm if I'm two point six or two point seven or lower, I I need to confirm before I am done with this deck. Like, am I actually confident that I can close out a game with enough tempo? Because I am not going to last past middle game, most likely. Mm -hmm. Even if you have some top, you're just not. And then if you're about, you know, if you hit three, you got to be start considering: Am I going to get run over by by tempo decks? Um, if you're above a three two and you're just doing like a really big value deck, then like you need to make sure: Like, do I have death touchers at the beginning? Do I have mm -hmm. some bounce spells? Um, okay, so this one, this looks fine here. I'm kind of worried about our creature count, but I'm not. We have all this, so 17, but, like, I do, like, a lot. Let's see, so 41. This is where I may just be like, eh, let's play 41 um, and see how it goes. But is there any last cut that's jumping out to you? You know, I think it is something to say, like, I think I kind of got, uh... I think when this format started, I, like, drafted yeah. almost all sagas. And yeah. uh, one thing, like, yeah, these these folks become creatures, right? But yep. they become creatures in three turns. Yeah. Um, oh, let's cut the essence capture, sorry. Essence That's, capture, I, yeah. I, there's an argument to cut the essence capture and put back in the containment construct. Only because, and then maybe cut a clawing torment. I, I'm... We'll see how the first game goes. Mm -hmm. I'm actually worried that we may get run over our one. I mean, we have, if we get an Okiba on turn one or a Network Disruptor or an Arm Guard Familiar coming out, okay, I mean, I think we'll be okay. Um, but I, I I am a little bit worried um, about some early tempo plays. But I think let's, uh, we got the Sky Swimmer, Tamer's Completion. Yeah, I think we're ready to party. Let's, uh, let's party. Awesome, awesome. Um, Let's do this. One second. So if you are watching this video and you're like, hey, um, <laughs> I'm having fun. Um, well, if you're watching it on YouTube, it is Tuesday, which is a great day. But wouldn't you rather watch it live? And you can watch it live on twitch.tv slash the underscore Itta. Usually it's on Thursdays, but because we have a new guest every week, you know, we obviously Tuesday is when the video is going to go up and uh, on Thursdays, who knows what time or if it will be on Thursday. Um, and then real quick, Swords has a quick uh, statement he'd like to say. If you don't like and subscribe, I'm going to take you to the garage. Thank you, Swords. Um, 
and we'll be uh, right back with, uh, you know, our first game with this deck. Um, like, well, we have two network disruptors. I was just thinking if we wanted to go nine, eight lands the other way. Um, I know we have double pips for the Behold the Unspeakable, but like, we do need to make sure we hit our, uh, our, our swamp. Yeah. I think we're good. All right. Oh. Yeah, let's party. I like Ooh, We got a turn. All right, so we are gonna keep this. Oh yeah. We are ready. All right, so, oh, we got our third land. All right, so, um, it's tough if I wanna get Okiba out or do the Network Disruptor. I'm probably gonna, so if we play turn one Okiba, then we can play the the Network Disruptor and the Sword. Yeah, let's um let's get the Okiba going. Let's get the swap out to the Okiba. A little can... yeah. rat man. Mm -hmm. It just feels good to start off the game that way, you know? Oh yeah. You start off with that and you're like, alright. Oh, we love to see it. Alright, get that network disruptor and that eater out. Well, you know, tap down their land, obviously. Tap down that. Oh that was a misplay. We should have, you know, tapped down the our own Okiba. Can we even tap down our own Saga? I don't even know how yep. to do that. Again. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can tap down any right. permanent. We feel great right now. Um, we're one land away from the reach around. They have nothing on the board. Um, we're definitely going to attach that for Virtue. Make them answer it. Um, yeah, this is excellent. Oh my god. Yeah, get that, uh, get that island out there. Now, the question is, we want to put it, let's put it on the flyer. Let's get a, our island out there and attach, what does it cost to attach? Oh, it only costs one? Hell yeah, attach that. We'll get the arm guard familiar out there as well. All right, so our deck is doing the thing that we want to be doing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely no ninjutsu don't here. I don't care. Nah, we have our thing attached. We're, we're beating them in the air. Um... You know, our next thing, when that dies, we give all of our creatures flying. Like, mm -hmm. we draw land, and we don't care about that. Good for them there. All right. Let's, um... No, oh, there's a decision point here where we could, uh... Let's definitely get the island out. Get that island on the battlefield. I still personally think I would... Let's attack with... Um, let's attack with everything here. Um, I think we can jam because what, regardless of what happens here is we're going to, we're going to either get a big scary, um, our next thing with flying. Okay. That's, we're cool with that. All right. Um, yeah, we don't want a ninjutsu. We trade all. That's fine. Let's, let's go through that. And um, let's get that Kami of Terrible Secrets. I think we get to draw a card. We draw a card and we gain a life. And gain a life. Excellent. Yeah, that was good for us. I'm glad they didn't block the menace thing. Oh, we got our bounce spell. Okay. So now our stuff is flying here. Um, okay, that sucks for them. Nice. Yeah, let's uh, oh put goodness. that big sword on. Um... So there's an argument to put it on the Kami, right? Because that's a big flyer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's put it on the, let's put it on the Kami. Let's uh, party. Let's attack that party there. I don't think we. Nah, I don't think so either. All right. Just play. And let's just. Uh, yeah. And I, I'm thinking about we could put the just hard cast the silencer. Um, That's true. You know they're down. They have to put something out there. We can bounce what they have. So let's put that out there. I think I think we got this one. That was exactly the tempo we we wanted. Oh no. Um, yeah, discard that, uh... Um, reach around. Yeah, the reach around. Unfortunately. All right, yeah, let's just bounce it, just for good old measure. Yeah, they're, they've had enough of Jeffy Tastic. They they're said, done. we're they're, they're... <laughs> good. So that, that, that was ideal. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> that was great. We drew lands and spells. We pretty much just crushed it. You know? Yeah, that was great. I, I personally do think the ninja deck, even though we're not ninjaing in this deck, really, which is strange. I haven't played a blue black. I mean, we have a few ninjas, but you know, I, I don't feel it's ninja centric. Yeah. Or really saga centric. Um, 
I do feel that this deck is just a top contender for being just one of the best in the format. Um, you get an Okiba out there or a Network Disruptor on turn one, and it just feels like you gotta catch up. All right. Oh, God. Ugh. Well, I mean, we have lands and spells here. Um, you know, what do you think? I I'd keep it, but... I mean, I think uh, it's definitely a keep. Yeah, we have a... Got our good old crabby boy. We can counter something. So yeah, let's uh, let's do it. I wanted my turn one play, but we got it because Jeffy Tastic is <laughs> is is getting streamer luck today. Streamer so, luck. Yeah, you can pretty much there. tap down anything. You can tap down your own land. You can tap down the cat. <laughs> right. You can tap planeswalkers. <laughs> Let's um let's get our little swampy out there. And uh we're gonna yeah, we're gonna attack and then throw out the familiar after. Now, you know, this is the obviously not playing the counter spell. Counter spells are something where, you know, if you're playing best of three, it really can be effective. Mm -hmm. Because if you're you know, you're on the play and you get that counter spell, you kill their turn three play. Um, I still think we block here. I don't know what kind of shenanigans they're doing. I, I but I think they're they just want to waste for a trade. Spell. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's fine. We can hold up our mana and counter their next turn. We don't do anything next turn. So, oh no, they are. Gonna... Yeah, either. All right, great, great, good for them. We love that for them. All right, put that out there. Um, yeah, let's just let's pass here and maybe we can suit up. Yeah, I Unless think they suiting up or something pre combat. Yeah, we want to draw a card, but like I'm happy to suit up and draw a card to get a land, anyways. Um, yeah, let's, um, hmm. you know, resolve that. And uh, I think we do want to suit up. Let's suit up here. I do like to keep our flyer here, yeah. and it's a card draw. We do have our completion, so we really are. Yeah. Don't put it on. <laughs> Don't put it on them. <laughs> All right, if they got something good, I mean that would not be good. Ooh, clawing torment, love that for us. If they waste another spell, all right, that's fine. Good for them. Love that. All right, let's. Uh, hmm. This is tricky. What would you think you would do here? I probably would claw and torment it only because we do have the completion in our hand. Um, what would your gut be? Um, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, let's uh, get I rid think, of that. Um, I think they... If we have the long reach around if we get enough. Like, they're pretty devastated if we get a land here. They've valued this card so highly. Okay, that's not good for us. We have a completion though. Let's draw land. Well, all right. I guess we're just gonna stare at the screen here and and shake our fist at the, at the duffler. <laughs> at the gods. At the gods here. I think we're still fine if we get literally any land. Hopefully, we can counter what they put out here now. Ooh, let's do like an imperial. Oh, only five. Um, let's still get rid of it. I counter that. Pay draw the three. Lands. Yeah, play the oh, wait, wait. Oh, they have a land. Shit. Oh, we both made a mistake there. That's okay. You know, life's all about making mistakes. I, yeah, we're fine. We're going to uh, let's swap. Now, we could. I would play the reach around first. Oh, maybe, I think, because if we completion down something, they're going to sacrifice it. But. Yeah. Yeah, they're, let's. Oh, shit. So. Yeah, I mean, we have to discard a card here. That's six coming in at us, and we don't have a... Hmm. Um, I think we should still long reach. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I'm totally down. Yeah, let's do that. All right. They kill the Golden Tail, probably. Yeah, unless, I thought they... It seemed like they had a land... I don't know, they were kind of fishy here. Oh, maybe they're thinking about it. 
Oh, they got, well, that's still good for us. And we got another trigger next turn, so. Not thrilled with this, but we can completion down. Oh, we gotta see what they're gonna do here. All right, well, looks like we're completioning down the... Oh, we have to behold the unspeakable, actually. I would only oh, do two to us. Take two. Well, I think. Hmm. I, I guess yeah, that's... I mean, we... Let's do behold. Right? Yeah, no, big, I, I think yeah, big chunk out. Is, uh... We'll get our blocker out now next turn so they can deal two. Alright. Well, we got our blocker out here. Alright, now we gain some life. Gain right. some life. Oh, and then we get this. Oh my god. Alright. We look at the battlefield again here. I don't know. We probably want a creature. Maybe we want to keep a... Uh... We could play Silencer and also Okiba. Things of four. So we need to be able to completion. We're going to completion down. Mm. I don't know. Maybe we don't want the the Silencer. We want to hit our land. Yeah. I think that is a big issue. Yeah, we can keep... Let's keep the... We may want to keep the Kami. It's a big blocker. Throw down that Silencer, and then we can completion down their big thing. We have our blocker, so we're fine. That's fine. Oh, I forgot we draw two cards. Okay, there's our land. Great. Throw our land out there. I would probably completion a uh, thing and throw Okiba out there. Boom. Yeah. That's, let's see if they like that. All right. Great time. All right. Yeah, let's Okiba here. Okay, so we're, we're feeling good. I think we can crawl back from this one, um, depending if they don't have an Imperial Oath or not. That's kind of where we're... we're I mean, here. Imperial, it's nothing. Uh-oh. Okay, well, we have a lethal exploit for that. Kind of. Um, block, yeah. One, two. Oh, yeah, and they, they're just gonna... Is it permanence or creatures? Let's see. It's permanence. Okay, so what kind of permanence did they have? Got one, two, three... Four, five, six. They have four right, mana, so it could be a five All five. right. Yikes. So maybe when they try and... Oh, they're going to do it now, aren't they? Let's see here. Yeah, Isaiah in chat. Isaiah was also on a My Draft Tutor. You can check that out. In our Isaiah is a videos. legend. He is a legend. I think that this line sash is scary. Yeah. But, I mean. Okay. Does it do when it's configured? Uh, whatever. It gives, so it gives it gives the bonus. Yeah. It, right. Actually, that was good for us. Maybe we can get a modified. Creature and then lethal exploit. Do we have enough mana? Ah, uh, they can still pump it. Yeah, they can still pump it. All right. So, um, I mean, maybe we just bring out a uh, chonker here. We also wait. We could also play ninjutsu, long reach of the round, and mm -hmm. make them start sacrificing. Nah, they're gonna get something else to sacrifice and discard. But that's probably not a. They'll get, we'll, well, they could always sacrifice their forest, which will come back. Right. Um, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then, they would have another, they would have many draws to discard something. I think that's probably not right. Um, we just put out the big, uh, bunker here. Sure. You don't think we should just attack and trade out? Think they're? Oh, you think you think they get the long reach back? No, I guess we have two. They're gonna have life link there, and they're gonna have a big pumped thing. I think we need to put out that we're gonna block here and, and distract him another turn here. Um, we just attack with the knight's reach. I don't know. Let's see. So they're gonna have five mana next turn. So say if they pump that for five, that creature's gonna be a seven eight. So. Oh, that, that, does that long reach not gain any attack when it blocks? Correct. 
Okay, yeah, just swing in with it, I guess. That's it. It's not gonna give us anything. Oh, it's not gonna do anything. Anyway. Okay, well, they can do it now. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, we could have saved it as a block, possibly. Do we have... We don't have any other hard removal, do we? We have a bounce spell. Okay, that's a hope. I could bounce. Yeah, we got a bounce spell. A tap down. We got a uh, Dolce a little Silencer. Yeah, we should have kept that now. Didn't know if we had a... Well, it's still, atta <laughs> it's still attached. But, you know, that would have been... That would have been real helpful here, actually. Um... So they can only get up to a uh, seven. So we we can block them. Oh God! I guess we double block here, right? What do you mean? You they can. It, uh, I mean, do they have, in the they have five here? mana? I don't think we have. I don't think they have five. I don't think they have enough. They have two. One. Does this that is a permanent. permanent. It's uh, permanent. So planes. Oh, count. so the land counts too. Oh yeah. shit! And this is One, any two. graveyard. Oh, we're getting sashed here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's be at ten, ten. All right. Or, uh, nine, well, ten. All right. Let's. Uh, can we ninjutsu the uh, old dance? Be cool. Did I even do anything for us? I guess we block with the vision, right? I don't know. I uh, can make it a big boy here. Maybe we should have kept the long reach. <laughs> we should have kept it back for. <laughs> no, Isaiah's in caps. No, Isaiah's, Isaiah's in caps. right. I mean, maybe we, uh, and that's, that's not a combo we had on our bingo sheet, this, this, that was, so we can play the centipede and we can draw a card off the Kami, I don't think we have enough mana, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if we draw a land, um, to gain a life and get another blocker, hopefully, we really do need that bounce spell, right, so, um, it's kind of interesting, what else do we have in there, do we have anything else in our deck? I don't know if you have like that a golden up. cards. No, I need to uninstall and reinstall my. Oh, is it died on you? Hey, Clausies, what's up? Um, so yeah, that was. You know, the one zero was too good to be true here, but uh, <laughs> we're not out of it. We're gonna find a bounce spell. It's gonna be a great time. We were, we're running out of graveyard stuff here, so like that's a swamp. So put out that centipede and that Tommy. We can draw a card because we have an enchantment that, that thing's an artifact, right? The center, yeah. So put that out there. Get our kami. Oh, and we can block with the reach around. Um, try to hopefully draw into our bounce spell, which would be great. Easy. They're out of gas here. They're just gonna have 50 life. But like, all right, that's still bad. Um, yep. Just we're chilling here. Well, we might as well. Well. Maybe we should attack with the five. I think that we should have attacked with the five there. <laughs> we might be able to block all one. Oh, that's true. Two. So it's a. Well, the, the sash has all the counters on it still, so. Yeah, but they only have one creature. I know. Well, let's see. There's. Oh, oh, God. Help us, God. All right. It's fine. We're gonna bounce it. Everything's great. We're just We're gonna great. bounce it. We're just, no, we're just gonna, gonna bounce chump, it. We're gonna chump block here with the probably the reach or uh... I mean, it is up to you. Yeah, let's block the reach around. Let's block with the reach. I think the other thing. I, I just, it's not doing much for us if they have uh, uh, excel our, you know, excel our whole graveyard with that. So we are looking to. Yeah, they're just they're having a. I mean, the game is entertaining above all else here. Yeah. We're not nice. bouncing the sash. We're going to just cry, Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah, let us creature. cry. Let us just, let us. Oh, well, we got a land. All right. That was great. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get that out there. So, don't think <laughs> we're okay. Um, you know, we got to play it out into the end. Let's attack with the, uh, what are we going to chump block with next? Maybe the Kiba here. Um, we want to keep our big baddie. Okay, what other answers do we have in our deck? I can't, do we know what the, like, I'm trying to think of what other answers we would have. So we could bounce. Do we have anything else in our deck? 
We have, oh, we can make it, uh, we have two clawing torments, so they can lose a life, <laughs> and then lose a life. <laughs> All right, um, let's just, we're going to chump block, so go ahead and uh, we'll chump block with the, uh, the, god damn it, maybe the menace, so go ahead and just attack with, with the rogue warrior. Yeah, they're gonna gain all that life back, but might as well. I mean, this here. gains a uh, plus two plus O oh, until the end of the turn. That is true. Oh god, thirty one. And yeah, that sash, we this they had nothing going on. That sash really rocked our world. That's yeah, all right. We it's good for us. All right. All right, this is, that's something. That's something I have not seen in this format, a 15-16 with a Lion Sash. I am, uh, I am, uh, have not seen that. So we're going to jump block with that. Um, we're going to hopefully get an art, we're going to keep our Sky Swimmer. Maybe we can loot eventually with some artifacts, so yeah. Yeah, we got, um, we got some artifacts left, probably. Yeah, Isaiah, it is kind of crazy. We were, we were miles ahead. Now they have, like... 60 life, but, you know, we're at peace with that. We're chilling. Look at all this. Oh, oh it's an ult. It's right. nothing. This is, uh, that's nothing. We have blocks for their little samurai. All right. All right, they're, they're, that's not gonna land here. Oh, the long reach around. Oh, God. I mean, let's play it. Let's party. I mean, they can't discard a card. I look at them sacrificing that. All right, we're gonna um, ask the turn. <laughs> what if we just, uh, yeah. I mean, let's see what that's gonna fix. Yeah, I mean, we could equip the thing next turn and lethal exploit Mashiko. Um, I thought that was gonna be a befriending them off, so it's gonna be. I was gonna be very sad. <laughs> I mean, we got one flyer. <laughs> Isaiah said, so "We just added two more permanents to the yard. Don't Isaiah, worry, shh, we'll add a third we don't, one. We're fine. We're everything's fine here. Everything, everything you're watching on the stream right now is exactly according to plan. Yeah. I don't know. Like this is we planned this from the beginning. We got together." This is just planned entertainment for you. You know, we gotta make content. Yeah, there's there's your content. There you go, content. There what there could have been an argument to keep it and block with the commies so and people explore Oh no, the thing's gonna be never mind. There's no argument for anything. There's only pain here on this on this. On there's this only pain. There's only pain and darkness, but we're used to that. We're, we're we play magic, so. Um, oh, look at this smart oh, guy. Oh, how cute! Oh, that's so cute. Wow, I want to be you when I grow up. Can I lethal exploit it? That's, you, yeah, yes, get rid of it, yes, absolutely. Absolutely, you show them. Yeah, you, yeah, you show them. <laughs> and you wave that goodbye, give them another permanent for the lion sash. That's exactly the content we wanted. Oh, here Ooh, we go. Good game, they lost, they're over, it's over. We got the, the Mythic Saga uncommon, so it's over. Um, yeah, We're going to gain out. two life. We're going to gain two life. They actually don't even know what's going to hit them here. Um, yeah, and we're going to hold that land like it's our firstborn. And we're going to just... Uh... Listen, our long reach of the night is going to be an excellent 0-4 with Menace. Yeah, they, they, they don't actually know what's in for them. We're about to turn the corner here. I mean, they're not gaining any more life. These we're are about facts. to stable. We're about to stabilize here. Um, this is like we're just a turn away. I know this looks. Uh, oh, not our completion for our fake. Uh, oh God, that's. Oh, there's befriending the moths. Oh, there. Oh, we don't. Oh, okay. Um, love that for them. Didn't he, didn't it, they didn't put out the fourteen fourteen? just toying with us yeah I, I think you can make intelligent blocks or you can block yep that's fine i mean we're gaining two life so it's really it's only like we're taking it's really three. it's negligible they yeah. honestly if you're watching this oh there's c 
Yeah, you can uh, knock yourself out, gain some life there. See, now we have Eater of Virtue, so it really changes the whole entire game now when we block with a long reach around, because we're going to get Menace on our, on our... Oh, we get to loot here. Yep. That's why we didn't yeah, play that is... land. Oh, we're drawing our bounce spell. We're going to bounce that token. Yeah, we're going to draw our moon. Ooh, oh, that's a... this is tricky. Which one do we keep? <sighs> All right. I think we need to pitch the swamp. Yeah, it's bad luck. We're going to go for symmetric. You know, uh, yeah, we don't. Does not give the sword menace. Oh, that's it. What? Does it? It does give the sword menace. But our swimmer is going to die first. Oh, they're going to. Yeah, you can put that on the. Uh... Sure, that's fine. That's perfect. So we can block the befriending. Is it? Does it not give it menace for the saga? Only the front card is seen. Uh, look at us. We're getting tutored by the real tutor here, but that's magic is hard. Dang it! We gave him another thing. That's not have menace. Okay. Well, oh. I'm gonna get flying off of this. All right. They have 59 life, but that's like. Yeah, but how many? How much time do they have? They only have four. Uh, you know, Isaiah and I won when our opponent uh, they confused themselves into a loss. So we love that. We love that. Now our that's our, a seventeen seventeen. Is this real life? It doesn't have life link. That's. I almost wanted to have life link. I want to <laughs> see a limited game with that much. That was, uh... Okay. Eight. Dang it! Eight. Oh, yeah. Oh, so our Eater of Virtue is... Okay, so, fun fact, Eater of Virtue is really not going to help you in the lion session. Alright, and that's a... That's an island, folks. The, um... This is when I would hit the concede button. Um, I think we've made it this far. We need, we need to die with dignity. No, dying so dignit that, with sure. dignity is the uh, concede button. <laughs> no, we're... We don't we're... have dignity. You're you're right. I actually don't have any dignity myself. So, uh, I, you know, let's, let's do it. Here's the let's... thing. Is that they... Okay, they win. Like, they still need to win, right? That's true. They need to win. And, you know, maybe we can just get our block. Oh, maybe we can get our blockers in and just one at a time. And then we have 18 turns. <laughs> we have all of our 18 creatures. Okay. This is, uh, See, are you really thinking? Our opponent's yep. thinking too uh, much. I told uh, you that's how it works. Oh, all right. And got another permanent. They okay? I feel like. I feel like. Oh. 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 He just wanted to unequip. That was look. Okay. Right. I'm at peace with that. Um. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to be humbled, and that was truly a one card. Been the entire game. No way we came back. <laughs> No way. It's so crazy. I mean, hey. I want to see what... I don't think we there's anything we could have drawn. Um, no. Now, was it... We didn't even have... We weren't even in the position to have a counter spell at that moment, I don't think. No. Um, yeah, we were... We, we gave it the good old uh, mirror draft try there. <laughs> but hey, that the best thing about magic is that you just hit next turn. Next it's the next game. game. Let's move Instant on. gratification. Move on, you know. Tears are for gold. We're in platinum, baby. We're we're actually Yeah, let's uh keep this. If, yes. If we uh if we get seven wins, I think that we get to diamond. Hey, <laughs> let's go. You know? Let's get you. Let's get you to diamond. Let's do it. But you, you, so you just you hit mythic for the first time in. Uh, I mean, I hit it in December. I was in the mythic qualifier. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Play that. Um, I'm hopefully gonna qualify. I think I'm like 370 right now. Hmm. So, oh, a 
solve that for us because we're going to have our puzzle maker with the sword on it. Yeah, let's still get our uh... puzzle make out. Yeah, let's do that. That's fine. I mean, it will be able to kill this. That's, that's I'm saying. Uh oh, they're going to have a master's review. If they do, I'm I'm really uninstalling tonight. Baby. No, we drafted it. It's out of the pod. I know. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, yep. Let's, I mean, this is you, fine. This is... Yeah, this is great. You got the plan. You got it. We're let's we're going to have it. a behold next turn. Abs yeah, this is great. You, you get that. Put the lands gonna... on the bottom of the deck. Um... um, I don't really need that, I don't think. Yeah, what I... What do you think? I, well, we're... We're fine. We're fine with not, yeah. We don't need them draw. We really want our lethal exploit for that Fang. Fang is, this is like the turn, like, I think this deck can pretty much handle anything besides, like, we really didn't want to see a Shigeki and a Bamboo Grow Larger. Like, that's, ooh, okay, they're looking for their planes, because they're going to do enchantment crap, aren't they? Oh. Ooh, Simic. All right, we love to see it. This means they got Sky Turtle. Ugh, that is exactly what they have. But the, no, the... We... oh, no. All right. Okay. All right. Ooh. Can we bounce. We can bounce the. F I mean, I think. Yeah, let's attack it. We're bounce. I'm let's bounce that. Harmonious emergence. No, we bounce the forest. That's that's the harmonious the aura. Sorry, we were talking about the same thing. The card. I mean, yeah, you bounce the. We don't. We're not gonna ninjutsu, right? We're just gonna yeah, next damage and then. Hard cast that baby, kill the thing. Oh, that feels good. Oh. The tempo. Oh my god, it's play that so island beautiful. out. This deck is I think this deck is really I mean, we got a lot of sagas here. The crazy thing was, um I've had I've drafted Lion Sash a bunch of times and it's oh, never done it anything. Stuff. Has it done anything? No. Yeah, I can see it. It can be killed quick. All right, so we could we could behold the unspeakable, and uh, they have a counter spell. No, I'm not afraid. Am I afraid of the crab right now? I think what we could also do is so ultimate greed is how I would do this. I think this is just me thinking. Playing Long Reach of the Night Island, if we get a land uh, off the next turn, uh, you mean behold the unspeakable? Because we get, oh never mind, get a land. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if we get a land, then we just play land and empty our hand, which means we draw four cards instead of. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's I'm just down. go for the greed. I put that. Uh, yeah, the island doesn't matter unless they have a spell. I just maybe it was good to drop the land just in case they had. I think the, if they have a spell pierce, okay, we're good. Spell pierce was paid too, so we should have. We oh, may have had yeah, a yeah, spell yeah. pierce. We may have wanted another island out there, but yeah, that's uh, minor details. Yeah, let's throw that. Let's. Wait, did they? They throw. tossed a. Wow. Because they're afraid of us bouncing stuff. We're Jeffy Tastic. We we put fear <laughs> in their hearts. I, I'm I'm you know does this face intimidate anyone? Absolutely not. Oh great, that's fine. Um, at no attacks. And uh, we can put the eater on the. Uh... Put it on the captain. Yeah, that's fine. Because if it dies, oh, it gets. Oh, it doesn't. Eater it's gets a saga. vigilance. Oh yeah. Yeah. I forgot uh, cool. that Isaiah ruined our happiness. Uh, Isaiah really ruined us there. That's okay though. Um, okay, great. Still good for us here. Ooh, Jubilee. that was a good thing to get out of. Okay, so we could behold the unspeakable and uh, attacks. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, that's and you know, if we need to do anything different here. Um, yeah, I, let's do it. I kind of like getting the. Yeah, that's fine. No, 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 no. Oh, maybe let's get the puzzle maker and the, the silencer out so we can be greedy, right? Isn't that what we want? We want to make sure we can get the. Uh, <laughs> All of the, the cards. Oh, agree. And we still, this is not a bad... We attack with the 
not, I mean, they're gonna. We're gonna kill. Get rid of the prancer or the death touch, right? So I don't think we we should attack with it, right? I think we're fine attacking with it because we're gonna. They have the blocks. So they're we're, we're gonna get something we want out of this, which is either the death toucher or the. Uh, yeah. Or both. Yeah. Hell yeah. We 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 love this on this. They've screen. got yeah. um. They've got a season was... renewal in hand. Okay. That's what I'm vibing off of. Let's stick that on the flyer, yeah. Right. They do. That's okay, that's three mana there. Ooh, oh, what the there. hell? All right, Boy. All right, good for them. So, and... let's see here. Um, so next turn we have Behold. We still can't get through the, uh, we need to put the Virtue probably on the, on the Moonsnare Specialist, right? Because we can't get through the Blossom Prancer. Yeah. Um, we block this three. Four. We could double block the uh, put the, the get the flyer. We block the Moonsnare Specialist and the Puzzle Maker. Yeah. And like yeah, this? they only get one of them. No, they'll get. Oh yeah. Well, that's three, four, five. Yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm cool with that. That's perfect. Either way, any one of those. I mean, the only argument maybe would have been to. I don't even think I would want the silencer. I mean, it's good, but yeah, that's cool. Now we get fates. All right, Kami, all right. So we could put that, uh, we have four, five, six. Yeah, we can attach the virtue to the, what does our thing now have, menace? Oh no, it does have the- It, it the has the card, but it-, uh, it uh... It's not it, okay. Yeah, we could stick that on the- um... It has flying. You want, yeah, stick it on one of the... Yeah, either one of those is fine. That's fine. Because well, I silencer. think if they... We want to probably play off the Behold. We didn't lose our creature. It's oh. Okay. It's all right. Throw it out there. No, let's uh, let's let them trade. It's okay. It's Should fine. I attack with the Silencer um, or just one? Nah, just keep the... I don't want to lose that Silencer. If they don't have enough cards in hand, I would just attack with the four there. See, I knew they wouldn't block okay. their cowards. Yeah, then I guess we're going to... Well, we can wait, put the Kami out, because we can use it next turn. And we get then a... they really can't block. And our thing is a five, so we should be able to win. So, um... Great. Can we... Should we put this on... Um, we can put that on... Nah, actually, what else do we have on the board? Yeah, let's, let's put it on our Menace, right? In the air? That's a seven in the air. I think we win if we... Put that on our Menace, unless they have a bounce, which we don't care, because... Wow, that's going to be a 7-4 Menace in the air. We love to see it. Mm -hmm. What? They drew, they drafted four? I love it. I love the drama. I do. Yeah, we can just eat it. Let's just eat it. Let's take the damage. All right, is that game for us here? You play that Behold. And I think that's... Yep, they're had enough of Jeffy Tassik and Itta tonight. Um, before we go on to the next game, I would like to say, uh, well, I made notes because a lot of times I don't make proper notes. Um, yes, so Jeffy Tastic is a part of the book club uh, tournament uh, series that Team Cat puts on. So every Wednesday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, uh, Team Cat puts on the book club, and uh, it's a fun eight player streamer pod event um so we're actually all in one pod we draft three rounds swiss so even if the streamer that you love is terrible like me they you still get to watch all the games you know they get you get to see their deck do things um and hopefully you know that silly thing that um a bad deck has the access to they get they get it off on on one game or if it's a really great deck, um, they uh, you know get to uh, get to win the tournament. So that's every Wednesday at um, seven Eastern Standard Time. Whew! It's so I, I I always make a note of the things that I should promote in the video. I saw your Word document or your notepad. It's like your <laughs> your document name is. Is everything. 
that's you're talking like that's that you're talking you're speaking to my heart like like that is me as a person um oh god well probably i guess i would still keep it so we can draw our network disruptor you know yeah sure I mean, um i'm kind of scared of this of the slowness here oh lord. we got another four drop it's fine oh lord Let's just match their island with. I would put. I yeah. I would put it out because. Um, uh, yeah, I guess we don't have anything that would activate there. So yeah, that was. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, hope they play nothing here. Is that artifacts can really, pop off? Oh boy. All right. All right. Well. Um. We're gonna yep play Lando. Land oh. and go. I. You know what. Isaiah called me out on this, I think, but I really like to keep everything a secret. <laughs> I personally, I, you know, you never know if you, well, we don't have any double. Uh, we don't have anything yeah. double. Uh, this besides is not double good for blood. us. We're going to get, this is, this is not how I wanted this to go. <laughs> oh, swords and statutes. Is hey, what's chat. up? What's up, What Donald? record? We are... we are, you go. We are two and one. We're partying. We've had some. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, so you get no? a free artifact. Yep, that's fine. I guess we'll gain the life here. We need to get a creature out there. We do have some tempo stuff here. We win in. We're, I mean, we we won. It. Our goal is to win at least one, and we did. Our deck is, I think, pretty sick here. We, I think our deck is. We won by, um, you know, connecting and collaborating um yes. just we're winning the we're winning the gathering of magic the gathering we're gathering here today and they're gonna get a free artifact which um didn't exactly want that in my life hope it's not the mechanon <laughs> oh it is called it oh terrible right, mechanot's my favorite card it's so good oh boy all right all right, love this for us. Um, so, well, that's that's good. But we let's see, we could we could get rid of the. Um, no, we're not. We're gonna play a four drop this turn. Yeah, I guess we're gaining life here. Um, let's uh, put out our swamp here. It's kind of an argument. Maybe we. So they're gonna crew. I feel like we should just. Uh, I feel like we should. Maybe we put the three three out there. The little. I don't know. Maybe we kind of long reach now while they got two cards in hand. Um, we could bounce the. That's not gonna work. Bounce the shrine. That's not. Can't block the technician. Shoot. Maybe we put Kami out there. Kami's a big, big body. That We're not going to get value, though. So let's, um, what are you thinking here? Maybe we should just long reach here or put the body out? I mean, I'm Ooh. fine with long reaching or even putting out no, the that's fine. Three. Put the long reach. Get that going. That could be real. How long, how much is the crew cost on the bank buster? That's three, right? The bang bus is three, yeah. Okay, good. So... Unfortunately, going to be able to draw. They're probably discard a land here. I'm assuming. Like, no, they have like really. Saying. No, they had. They only had four. Modern age. Okay, Modern we'll age. take a. We'll take a card there. Taco Bell, Clausies. I love. Okay, they took away my Frito burrito, and I'm truly devastated. Like that was know. my jam. The Frito and burrito. Yeah, the Frito burrito. I like this. The cheesy bean and rice burritos. Okay, now we. Oh. All right, so we can bounce whatever they put the counter on. You know, now they can crew with one creature. Nope, they're down. Right. Okay. Oh, because they have a no. What? Okay, that's cool. They're just get us down here. Okay. All right. So. Oh. All right. Got some blockers here, right? Got to sacrifice something. Okay. Also land. Maybe we just put another. Maybe we lethal exploit the. Well, we don't have enough mana. Um, I don't want to get rid of that mechan or that 
that guide bot is not going to be good for us. They're going to draw there. Let's play a land out here. It doesn't matter which one you I, put out there. I think we... I think you're on to something with... Like, I, so next turn we, we can double spell. Or yep. if we lethal export, uh, we'll be exporting lethal to ourselves. Because I think I think it's just Moon Snare. Yeah, we can bounce the uh, you think the cover, but they're gonna be able to ninjutsu it in. We don't want to do that. Oh, that's um, fine. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna can... ninjutsu? They're oh, ninjutsu. You're right, you're they right. take something away. Right, they're taking. Well. Oh no, they can ninjutsu that, and they're gonna bring back their their mechanon again. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's okay. My thoughts on Taco Bell is, um, so, I I'm vegan, and I know, um, it may not look like it, since I am a <laughs> chunky monkey, um, but I'm vegan, I've been vegan for 12, I think 13 years now. Wow, I love it. We have some good vegan places here in, uh, in Columbus. Columbus. Um, Columbus. yes, you do. Um, uh... It actually, it, a side note, if I were to move anywhere else in the Midwest, I would move to Columbus. It is such a good city. It's, I'm like, I love it here. It's... It is a really uh, good city. I live in Indianapolis, actually, so we're like, we're really close. Oh my god! Well, if you ever come around for like a magic tournament or whatever, we definitely come say hi. If we ever have anything down here in Columbus again. Yeah, I, I almost was like, ninjutsu is bad. I think that was... Well, I guess that's fine. They get to waste mana. No, they if they draw a card. Like n them ninjutsuing means uh they spend two, then they spend three, or so they spend two more to play this, or they might have drawn. So don't they get it for free because of covert? That's why. That's why I was against it because they. Oh yeah, you're advantage. smart. That's why I was like worried about that play because they if they could have ninjutsu that back for free. Um, okay, let's play that. Ooh, we'll have an artifact and in a uh, Kami, so we could uh, two, three, four, five, six. I think uh, one, two, we three. swim lethal though. Yeah, let's do that. I'm cool. Want to get rid of the shrine? I'm trying to get rid of the card draw? I, I th honestly, I think the. Card draw is, is scary, no, no. but the shrine is hitting. Yeah, let's get rid of the. I'm fine with getting rid of the shrine. Plaza, yeah, you know I'm vegan, you butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are they thinking? Um, yeah, but I I feel like there was when there was a point where you could order vegan at Taco Bell, and if you spoke very slowly. It would always end up right, right? And then Taco Bell was one of those places that every you like Taco Bell messes up all the time. But for like five, because I was vegetarian before I was vegan, so for like ten years I think you could be like, I would like this. <laughs> I would like, and they would always get it right. But then at some point Pause. they they put it into the computer. And it's like, is this right? And then you'd be like, yeah, that's right. And they would just always mess up your order afterwards. So I haven't been there. Aussie's just calling you out on vegan being your personality trait. He's just upset because his sister is vegan. And uh, everyone, like, ever since his sister grew up and started dating other, like, dating men, yeah. Um, or dating other people, I don't actually know. But yeah. then uh, he he has been upset because he no longer has his sis like he no longer has priority. Ooh. You know, <laughs> so I hear ya. He's worried. I think here. Listen to this crazy nugget idea. All right, nugget. What if we network disruptored the covert technician and then. Yeah attacked out wait we only have eight life <laughs> you trying to ninjutsu here yeah oh so next turn they're gonna arm guard familiar the flyer and we're hosed so our only goal is that can we 
and we get rid of the... Yeah, I'm cool with that. I guess we have to network Disruptor. We'll, uh, we'll bring back the Life of Toshiro and get rid of the Tashi Gobot. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Network Disruptor down. The technicians. Yes. Yeah, because then we can Life of Toshiro and get rid of the uh, hard draw. And we can kill their Mechanoth. This is great. Yeah, swing in with both. Well, we could even swing in with the new Ensnare. Uh, they got the Bank Buster. The Bank Buster, Bang Bus is tapped. No, I mean, next, oh, no, I'm saying they're going to, uh... like, we're at 80. I... No, no, I got we you. Could. We'll just go in. Go in with the crew. All right, this is great for us. Actually, the long... So we're going to ninjutsu that what are we... Shiro. Toshiro. We're going to be able to kill that. We're going to kill the Tashi bot and the arm. Well, all right, this is... Okay, yep. Yeah. Damn, I wish we had another land. Yep, yeah, that's fine. They're going to put that thing on the war cost, and we're still... Oh, we're killing it. Never mind. Okay. The bad, yep. Yeah. We're going to discard and kill the Mechanaut. Look at our Silencer finally doing something in it. Yeah, living the dream. All right. And we're going to Toshiro that bot away. Great turn. Great I, turn for us. That you was, know, I'm pretty happy. That was excellent. Good, good, uh, good, good craziness. Oh, I finally, so, I'm sorry, Absolute Dog, we were in the middle of a match, I think, and I, I like, <laughs> I like your comment, I don't need to shit extra, so I guess, <laughs> uh, Taco Bell makes you shit extra. Oh, see, I, I have a lot of friends that are vegan, and it is just to be healthier as well, like, but... There's some like delivery services that are actually reasonable. Like it would be the same prices as if you went to the grocery store here in Columbus. But like, I don't know. I feel like you gotta devote for it. You can't if you eat crap like a vegan. I mean, you're gonna feel like crap. So yeah. you're like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love junk food. I'm sorry, it just tastes. Oh, okay. oh no. Okay, so that's All right. Do we have any other ninjas in our deck? Yeah, we have... No. We don't. Oh. Uh, yeah, we have you? the Dolce... Um, okay, sweet, well, we're going to hope we can... Uh, I guess we bought, we blocked the... Uh, With the disrupt, yep. Disruptor. That's fine. I mean, we're gaining two life. Like, that's... We're gaining three and, life. And we really need a creature that we can discard... I wonder if we could win the... No. Yeah, let's... uh. Yeah, we can... Let's see. What are we going to block with? We're going to block with the Moon Snare Specialist here. I don't even sure. need a block. Are you just saying jam for it? Yeah. I don't maybe we yeah, just let's... jam. It's five, six, seven. Yeah. Let's do it. We're going to have another blocker next turn. Yeah, that's great. All right. I feel so... like they... We're gonna get a pilot next turn. They're gonna draw a card here, I'm guessing. Hmm. So Clausies is 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 well Clausies is in college, so yeah, I mean that's oh. the best time to go vegan. Cause then people are like I don't know. I Your went school vegan had in vegan college. I know at Ohio State you could be a vegan full fledged and eat on your meal plan and be fine they had vegan options like columbus is vegan like we have so much vegan stuff happening here like it is really easy to be vegan if you wanted to in columbus like there is yeah. no issue we have so many farmers markets we have so many like vegan restaurants i can't even keep track of all the vegan restaurants like all vegan this isn't like here's your vegan menu like <laughs> did you know that um columbus uh and like i think it's it's it ends at columbus but it goes higher. <laughs> I know this is like, but it's one of the most diverse places in the country, outside oh of God. New York and LA. In between we New are... York and LA, it's the most diverse place. I believe it. Oh God, are they going to be okay? They didn't have a. I thought they were. Remember, if that thing gets in with us, they can get play a four mana artifact. Like that's. Okay, they're going to get a pilot here. All right. Um. 
Columbus, because we have a lot of a uh, Somalian immigrant population. Like we have very diverse food scene. We have very diver diverse like immigrant population. We have a the bustling gay community, um, and so it's 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 a blast here. Great. Did you go to the Ohio State University? I did. I am an alumni of the Ohio State University. Oh, my brother went there. It's a big. I love. It's just school being a number it, it was great oh god so this is like we don't really have a tax i don't think so either i guess the three four now nah, like we could juke them out but i don't think that's worth it here yeah we could juke them out with the three four man nah, this is one of those like El Mary things that I, I probably should not. Let's not. They don't have any artifact to sacrifice. Is the arm guard an artifact? They have this. The treasure. Arm oh, guard is an artifact. Treasure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll be good. We'll be good, boys. We'll uh, pass the turn and regret. Have you so... lived in the Midwest your whole life? Yeah, I'm from like, like the Cleveland area, um, oh. which is the saddest, saddest town in, in the, the world. It's the saddest town in the world. The lake effect snow is devastating. I mean, my aunt, she was up there. She's like, yeah, we just got like a foot and a half of snow. I can't get out of the driveway. And it's like, there's nothing to do up there. Like, I... The city's so boring. I lived there for a year. Oh, you were in Cleveland? Oh, my God. I lived in like... Strongsville for a while. I was in like Akron, Medina for a while. It's like it's 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 painful. Um. Uh. So this we want to chump block the covert. Uh, maybe we want to kill it. This is this sucks. Um. Let's see here. Maybe we want to. So they have how many artifacts can they sack? They have two. They have They've three. Got four. One, two, three, four. Oh my god. Well, let's, uh, if you want to keep the silencer here, just in case we, well, they can block with the token. You can block so, with the token. They can, um, crew with the token. Can we just, like, triple block the ignition? I don't know I, at this I, point. Yeah, I think we trip. Well, we'd be doing this. In this, we have to oh, block we, this. Oh, we have to block that. Yeah, maybe put the, maybe we just chump block the steel breaker and, am. That's the only way to kill this. That's the thing. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yep, that's the way the the universe has willed it. <laughs> yeah. So I lived in I. So my in college, uh, my girlfriend, she was from, uh, Akron. And then I followed her uh, oh, to um, Oberlin, oh. um, and uh, that place is a incestuous uh, cesspool of like ideal idealists. Oh, Ohio! Oh, well, you know, Oberlin College. Win yeah, no, I know, I know, I. Uh... Berland, I, uh, I know all of the different personalities at all those. It's Ohio is, it would not be in Ohio if it wasn't, um, or <laughs> Columbus. Let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, so then I was like, I can't live in this town, um, because it's, it's, uh, too small. And like, um, Oberlin, like I'm very liberal, but, oh, but like, it's like super it's like it's to the it, yeah no it's like so extreme it's <laughs> like guess. yeah and like and, I, and that's why i was like i was like i don't want to live in a place that uh, like there's a bunch of people who don't live in reality because their parents are paying for them to go to a private right. school right. and anyway so i moved to lakewood and well, lakewood, um, if there's any life in cleveland it would be lakewood yeah but Still, it's Cleveland-esque, and you, it, it, Ohio is really not where you want to be unless you're in Columbus. Like, I have been, Cincinnati, I was there last weekend. Cincinnati can do some things sometimes, but, like, I would, I, I work in tech. I would be in any other 
you'd be seeing me on the nude beach in California if I wasn't in. <laughs> If you haven't visited a nude beach, you should go. It literally is like, it's icon. You, you just become a different person when you realize that no one actually cares about your body or mm. anything. You just go and people are working from home on their laptops on the nude beach and you're like, oh. That must be really nice. <laughs> I'd probably go to a nude beach. I'm not, I'm not against it. Yeah, I see, I, I, I saw your selfies in the Discord. You, you have it in you. <laughs> Go ahead and keep this. I, you, it's in you. You have you have that like. It's in you. <laughs> so, I, um, you know, I I may be an out of shape person, um, but I know it is it is lying to me, Clausies. I can smell it on him too. <laughs> That's not he's just he's just trying to be nice to me because he because he, <laughs> he thinks I'm. He thinks I can, you know, I'm, I'm a butterfly liberal because I'm gay, but that's not the case. <laughs> but he's trying to be nice to me, well, there's, so it's fine. There's, uh, there's like an article that I read, and, and maybe it's one of those things where you read an article and it changes your life. Uh, not changes your life, it cha gives you a false opinion. Do we just play uh, Island Puzzle Maker? <sighs> yep, exactly. Okay. That's what I would do. But I read that if you sleep in the nude, you become, you just become more body positive. I do. That's is that? Can I reveal that? And well, yeah, I sleep in the nude, and and uh, like there are people that I know that are like you know just way more attractive than I I could ever imagine to be, and they're just like they're less body positive than me, and I'm like, damn, you know a lot. Of people oh, some of the best you naked. the banging people are so insecure. I I, I definitely want to play the long. Well, we want a long reach around here. Uh, I mean, they're just gonna kill this. Um, oh, but we could maybe I play the. Oh. I think it's fine because yeah. it becomes it, it's a grower, not a shower, you know. I, hey, I I I can relate. I understand. <laughs> People think okay, I, I'm not gonna get too gay on the stream, but you know, like you can get as gay you as you think, want. You think that like? I think I googled that stat one time. I think it's like. Is it like? 25% of people are growers or something. It's not a large statistic. Really? But like it's it's out there and some people don't like don't even know that's a thing. Some people don't even know that that's a thing. Like mm. come on people, get get with your anatomy. I'm neither a grower or a shower. <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're just happy to be there. I'm just yeah, I'm just I'm happy I was invited to this <laughs> this uh this shindig. <laughs> Want to no. scry here? Oh yeah, of course. What uh, what else are we gonna do? I don't know if they have ninjutsu stuff. Is that a swamp over there? What do they got? It's a green. Oh god, they could they could cap a wreck us. Um. Absolute dog says baby dick Thursday. Um. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's the, so. I wouldn't say it's the size of a baby dick. I but like keep that. I've I never, like keep the clawing torment. Are you sure? Who would want to, you would pitch it? I mean, we don't have a land. What are we looking for land for? Um, I like just having like six. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, Clausies, you, you, hey, I, I've never had any complaints yet. See, oh no. I think we could put the, uh... No, this is great. Clawing Torment on this. They just, you know, just slowly yeah. lose life. Slowly suffer. <laughs> Slowly. Yeah, no, I, I love... This is, like, I, I think a lot of people use Clawing Torment as removal, but I love putting it on, on cards that people don't want to get rid of. Oh, that's true. Uh, we also could... Oh, this so this is why I wanted another land. Hey! But if we call I... me of Terrible Secrets, we gain a life and a land. Let's do, let's do Kami. And we're going to gain a life and a land, right? Uh, we have enchantment artifact. Let's do it. But I need you land. to believe. I believe. I'm. I'm I, <laughs> when do I never believe it? I'm always believing, baby. Oh. There. See, that's even. That's. Yeah, we could block if they attack, so that's fine. Let's puzzle make and get your stupid land. It's a there you go. Well, we kind of need a slamp, but that's fine. Yeah. No. We we can modern age. We can modern age it away. If need. Yeah. Another card. Oh, what kind of drama they're doing? You said that's a green. Oh god. Okay. What would they be? 
Are they just playing oops all good cards? I don't know, their username is trial by fire, so this is the shit or get off the pot moment. We have to get our third win here, so we're gonna Ooh, they're doing nothing. We love that. Alright. So I'm guessing we want to uh modern age and life of Tashiro here, right? Yeah. I think they're an artifact enchantment deck. Let's get the chorizo out there. Do we, Do we modern, modern age? age first? Yeah, we can be good magic players, I guess, today. Well, because if we get a swamp, then we can chorizo and clawing torment. Oh, what a life. Yeah, that would be a life. Let's go swamp. Well, love that. I'm still fine to, uh, yep, I'm still fine to pitch the land. We want that, that claw, that victor, or the, yeah, well, there's actually argument to, about the, uh, I still let's get the Uma. Let's get the Yeah, let's get this. <laughs> let's get the chorizo out there. Yeah. We got we got enough land. I think we're gonna be in good good spot here. Let's kill that companion. You're not bouncing this companion anymore. We're bouncing, baby. They probably have like seven geothermals. Hey, Clausies, what gives it away? Personality trait gives it away, your last comment. Ooh. Completion. Yep. That's our only out of anything scary with their five colors. Could, we could have attacked with... Maybe we should have attacked with the... It's Kami. Uh, really? We should have attacked with Kami here. We need to put more pressure on them. I don't know what they're doing here. Okay. Fine. That's... You're, you're, you're just temporarily get, doing five damage to us. Yeah. yeah. Um. Let's hope we don't have to see what they got here. So we can uh, we can gain if we put we can put the plus two plus two on the uh, Kami, right? Yeah. But we can deal a lot of damage here. Let's definitely put pressure. Let's put plus two plus two. Yeah. Let's um. We don't probably need. Maybe we don't need the lethal exploit here. Is that silly of us? It's not gonna do much. Let's get rid of that. It bounce. Honestly, we could. We got a lot going on here. We're gonna hit it for. S we can get the Eater of Virtue out, attach it, and attack, uh, attach it to the Puzzle Maker and attach for. Attack for everything here. We're, we're in good. Ch I think we're fine here. We wanna keep the completion. So maybe the Eater of Virtue, attach it to the Puzzle Maker. And then... swing out. Oh. And then just for the... Uh... We're fine here. Having a personality. Thank you. I... <laughs> I... <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh... I think we, keep, we can keep the swamp now, right? That's fine. That's fine. I don't... Yeah, that's fine. No, I think that Geo is is just gonna. May, it, it's a yeah. There's a there's an I. Uh, Geo's gonna become yeah. A, uh... It's gonna be bigger. So like, it's a candidate to bounce right before we. Oh no, they can bounce the thing. I don't. I think that's too much tempo. If we if we bounce it next turn, we just play out the network disruptor and then bounce it next turn. I think that. I think that... Ah, let's put the clog torment on. You're right. We yeah, have a I lot think of... I think absolute dog is um... absolute dog is like ow claw the torment. Yeah, let's see. Uh... Now it can't block work disruptor. We can completion down. Yeah, can't... we're in good Should shape. We just play the... network. No, no. I think we wait. It can't block. The county can't block. It can bounce whatever they play on their turn. Uh, I see. What we you're can saying. completion it down. So. I would still. That's five. Yeah, I, I, I personally I thought this out. was gonna flip. I would have personally played out the network disruptor only because their thing can't block, and that's four damage in the air. So we're putting them on a lower clock. We could have completion and bounce anything. I don't think I don't think it was gonna impact what's gonna happen here. But I probably would have played the network disruptor. Uh oh. Looks like we're gonna. 
So that's, that's, that's only, enough damage for us. Yes. That's, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine, and then on their upkeep, they lose a life. Dead. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's get that out there. Well, kinda, they might have something here, which is fine. They're going to have to respond to our, our attack here. Yeah, we got a completion. Yeah, it's gonna be whatever they play are gonna. Right? Yep. Let's let's give them let's give them the give them hell. Let's give them hell. Yeah, sure. At peace with that. <laughs> Our double clog torment doing work here. All right, what do they got? I have to have something here. Dead. Um, they could have this. Another Sunblade. Gain two life. Love that. All right. Nice. At least we got you your 1,000 gems back. So I know we Oof. need to get another win, but I don't want to be making you go broke because you're drafted with me, you know? So hey, there you go. It's, uh, you know, it's fine. We're going to get our seven wins out of this deck. <laughs> well, I'm hoping we get, like, Let's get if we get four wins, I, I that's two wins is actually okay too. So I, I think so this is the crazy thing is we'd have we have one rare, right? Yes. Put you in a cast. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh my god! This is why I uninstall this game. I don't like magic. For those watching, this is not a game uh... I enjoy. I kind of am into it though. I'm really not. I... Damn it! We're not into it. Let's mulligan this shit. I mean, just... you want to keep it? If you no, want to meme, let's meme. I don't want to. No, because then no, you get. No, we can't. Get... We don't have any high power or anything. That's much better. Well, not, that's fine. Um, maybe we put back the uh, crab. Yeah, crab people. Okay. All right, we're still on the draw. All right. Well. I've had worse mulligans, like last night. Did you see my seven? Uh, I had the worst mulligan luck. I had my first hand was seven cards, no lands. Mm. Mulligan down to six cards, no lands. And then mulligan down to a five hand with one land. Oh, <laughs> so, no. Right. I'll oh, grab it, battery. I won't hey. go. We, we okay, could have oh, clawed wow, and tormented it. I mean, actually, this was the deck to keep that hand. Like, wouldn't that have been something? Oh, my God. We should have actually kept our... No, that would have been so bad. Okay. Hey, An well. aggro tech, most like. Kind of not what we wanted, but we at least will have a two-drop, three-drop, so I think we're going to be fine here. Um, really not looking forward to this rabbit battery on the song shaper, but we're going to... Well, I think we're going to be able to claw through here. Yep, yeah, we're on our way to get lands. So I think we're going to be, oof, all right. Ooh, they hit their land drop. All right, Jordan. <laughs> gotta get, gotta get your lands down. Looks like they're going to equip to your, yep. Oh Lights. my god, Lights. you Lights. got Lights. your Lights. Go fuck yourself. I love you. All righty. Oh, thank Hello. you so much, uh, Tracky. Or the four, four months train is the. Can we just not. Not blocking that. Not yeah. block. Tracky, no, we have a block. special guest, Jeffy Tastic. Who... Jeffy Tastic is here. We are doing something here. Come on, deck. I feel like, Tracky, you would enjoy Jeffy Tastic. If you All right, there's our land for our Behold the Unspeakable. We just need to live there, so let's, we, uh... We got our, our, our chain centipede. flail centipede. Right. No attacks. No attacks. Gonna kill both of our... Our losers. Creatures. No, fine. call them what they are, they're losers. <laughs> hey! <laughs> we love our, uh... Oh god, okay. Patchwork right. ain't nothing. Um... Yeah, we're really gonna do well with this Behold the Unspeakable here if we can, uh... 
Alright, well, we're one land. Make sure you discard that swamp. Get our other island. I mean, if we're gonna go down, we might as well go down against a deck like this. Yeah, they got two cards left. Oh, they got the synthesizer, though. This is like living their best life here today. Hey. Right. Can't say we didn't miss a land drop. Hey. All right, I mean, they're, I mean, we have, that'll be minus two for them next turn. Let's see what they got. We'll get rid of the beetle here. No. A land. Right oh no. All right, no ninjutsu, lifelinker. We're not doing it today. Hey. That's fine. They got an artifact they can't play. Oh, they don't have enough mana? Thank God. Okay. All right. This Behold the Unspeakable is really going to hold us to the next uh, uh, level here. Oh, God. Yeah, get rid of a creature here. Come on. Oh, all right. It's a weird card to be playing in their artifact deck. I want to go out like this. No, we're we're in it. They need a land. I mean, a artifact. Yeah, Trachea, Trachea agrees. Okay, so what? They get a. It's a two four. <laughs> so what? It's a, it's a. <laughs> we're drawing two cards next turn. Two oh, extra cards. Two. Sorry. Not. We, we don't get the big unspeakable. Sadly. No. Okay, they're a little bit right. smarter there. Right, we love. Oh god. Hey, we need. Oh, cool. We got a swamp. Cool swamp. We love that. He dead. No, have hope. Oh wow, bad. Oh god, guys, get the long reach out. They have to sacrifice a creature. It's actually pretty good. We can. And we have a blocker. Okay. I don't know. Let's go for our one drop. We would want a one drop here. One drop in our long reach around. Yeah, that's fine. Ew, really? Okay. Quick. Well, I mean. Ooh. Well. <laughs> they have to sacrifice a creature. That's. They're going to have to sacrifice another creature. I mean, honestly, that is. That's. It's fine. We're going to chump block the. We're going to sacrifice the beetle. Yeah. Okay. I didn't expect us to draw another three lands and and draw our two cards and get our lands. We'll have another blocker here. We need a completion or something or our. Or... Oh God! I guess yep. There's. Uh, I think we're dead anyways because they have their sling, so we're we're dead. Uh, you know, it's been real. It's been real. It has been real. Um, let's, it's been real. <laughs> let's try to get to our deck. Uh, you know, which is uh, I would rather have uh, deck our 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 deck instead of you lost. But hey, I mean, we went three and three. Went three and three. Uh, if anything, I'm consistent. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, you know, one last time, uh, where can people find you? Um, and just <laughs> tell us a little bit more again about yourself want more okay we'll give you more um for those of you just watching um i'm jeffy tastic i just started streaming in january so i'm primarily a limited player um but i also am, am kind of dipping my toes into some of the other formats so just started in january it's been an amazing journey i'm hosting my own tournament if you're interested in playing limited maybe you're somebody that hasn't played in a streamer tournament yet Maybe you're somebody that doesn't stream at all, but you still want to win free gems. Um, I'm hosting my first Jeffy Tastics Extravaganza on April 3rd. So if you stop by my stream, I can get you the information for that. It's also on Matcharino. Um, I stream basically two times a week, trying to get three in when I can. Usually a Tuesday or Wednesday at 6 or 7 uh, p.m. Eastern time for... Uh, some sort of limited event that week, right? So I'll play weekly an event, whether it's the book club um, or it's the sweatsuit. And then I'll usually stream. It's looking like I'll probably stream on like a Sunday evening sometimes if I start doing my own uh, limited tournament. So come by to the family. 
we are all super, super supportive, trying to create a space for all identities to party and have a have a rad time. Um, we are outrageous over there on the stream. If you're if you're looking for like land, play land, pass turn, and like kind of interact with chat, I'm not the streamer for you. We are chaotic and full of energy and rave breaks, and 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 lots of love. So. Um, a little bit about that a little bit more about me i've been playing magic pretty much off and on since i was younger like you know since uh i've, I've been i've been playing a long time i just started streaming um earlier this year but like i love all board games puzzle mm -hmm. games i'm a big pc gamer on uh you know I, I i unfortunately i've played some overwatch some dota some league of legends i might stream some of that but probably won't because i don't hate myself that much <laughs> <laughs> um but I also like teach music on the side. I'm techie. I love music production, tarot cards, anything where we can have like deep, authentic conversation in our life. I feel like we're starved. We're starved for authenticity and actually like loving people for who they are. So uh, come check me out. And uh, I really appreciate you having me on and uh, doing some draftives. Yeah, and, and thanks for coming on. Now, I, 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 I do have to I have something to say about that because I, I – you know, you do. You usually stream around the same time that I stream, so I don't really get to see your streams that often. But I do when I edit the videos for the book club. Yeah. I'm just like, you know, I talk to I talk to swords and statutes all day, and every time I edit them, yeah. um, I'm just like, Jeffy is just so happy. <laughs> Jeffy is just having the time of his life, and and it is something, you know, like I know that my stream is uh, is very laid back uh you know um um and and you're i think it's it's refreshing to see someone with energy playing magic um so that was my goal because like i i was inspired by a lot of streamers right like i came into your stream before i started and you kind of hooked me up with like hey this is the equipment i use this is what i start and i remember you told me you said the best way to start streaming is start streaming right yeah. like get started and so my goal is that i saw a lot of really popular limited players oh god if that was my full-time gig i'd probably be exhausted too right mm -hmm. but i saw a lot of like really strong players that were popular channels that like i felt a little bit dismissive of of new people who were in the chat and so i wanted to make my way like a I'm lucky that I don't have to do it full time, mm -hmm. so I get to be more energetic. I mean, God, imagine streaming as a full time gig. I have a lot of respect for those folks. Um, I, I wanted everyone that comes by to have that individual touch because I know how it felt to be a Twitch lurker and try to add something to the chat and it kind of got overlooked, or maybe you felt like dumb to ask something, or maybe even other people in the chat were kind of like really aggressively disagreeing with you or were kind of just like, vibes weren't always right yeah so my goal was to make sure that the community that like everyone that joins if i see a new chatter i my rules in my channel everyone in everyone says hi to them right oh. or if we have a streamer come by like i don't just advocate and say oh here's a shout out no like i go into depth and say this is why i like that streamer actually give them a follow if you're into this but it's like a no pressure situation so I, I just really wanted to get a little bit more authentic with it not just like oh we're shouting out this streamer like it felt fake you know what i mean like i wanted the deep connection of like this is why i'm 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 advocating for this person because it gave you this content that i may not or something like that you know so well i'm, I'm really happy to have you um uh in the community and hanging out so, um, you know, uh, I know that um, I think the plan uh, for the show is to uh, cycle through, but when the kind of new set comes out, just refresh and yes. uh, have everyone come back on again. So I'd love to, you know, in a in a month or two, have you back on and, and we can hang out. Oh my God, I'm honored. I'm blushing when we get the... <laughs> Oh my God, he's asking for a second date and we haven't even left the first one. Wait, I didn't even get like the Discord text. This was like, hey, hey, darling, want you back. You were so good. No, this is like, wow, you, you just blew my pants off because I wasn't wearing any anyways. So now we want you back. No, I, I, I'm so grateful you're having me here again. It's been a blur. 
the last few months of just like getting a lot of good following of just starting off and like mm -hmm. really engaging with people I like. So I'm really grateful for your support and including me in the community and um, I'll be back. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And until next week, we'll see you again.